I just have a question going back to that racism incident in, in Italy. Oh. Like, I just oh. wanted to know, like, if you if you feel like there's anything, obviously that ref should not ref another game, but is there anything an aside idiot. from that that, like, uh, the leagues aren't doing to to curb this kind of thing uh i mean we've seen it years and years like bananas thrown on the field and danny alves that's yeah. like the equivalent of dan of getting a yellow card to danny alves no that was that. provoked he was pro- he provoked, <laughs> that's provoked. You know, he but... provoked the living life out of those people <laughs> he peeled that banana he said let me have this real quick threw it over his shoulder and took that corner kick like he like he's like it was planned like like he needed the potassium <laughs> that was crazy that's like one of the all-time best re- re- reactions of football history. Danny Alves is already one of the greatest to ever do it. That just put him over the top. I love Danny. But what th- well this so I I was I was thinking about it. So like UEFA is like notorious for like rule enforcement, right? Like like there were some gloves. Like Nike had like some uh some gloves, some goalie gloves that they put out like a few seasons ago and the Nike check, I guess like that went across like the top of the hand was bigger than like U- UEFA regulations. So when players went to play in the Champions League with those gloves for that season, and I don't know how Nike missed that, but they just had to put like tape over the Nike <laughs> symbol because uh-huh. the logo was too big. Like, you know how it is like Juventus for like some seasons, like when Nike made their kits, they forgot to like put like, they had the stripes, they would forget to put like, just like a block in the back. So like they had to like do like makeshift jerseys. Like you see it all the time. Like yeah. shout out footy headlines, like all the different, yeah. like you can just go to footy headlines and look at like UEFA rules and see all the times like they've made teams like change, like Inter Milan, like they're, they're away. Oh kit. yeah. That one. They, they, yeah, the one that had like the Atlas on it, they made them change it. Like there's, or, or even like uh, this, my, like one of my favorite Inter kits of all time. Like they didn't let them wear this in the Champions League because they were like, there's too many colors or something something crazy like there was like i I think there was also like a portugal jersey no it was the netherlands the netherlands had a jersey for uh the 2018 world cup no it was france and it had one sleeve was red and one sleeve was blue and the body was white and they're like yeah you can't do that like we need symmetry like there's no symmetry they need symmetry. so anyway I'll, i'll say all that to say they enforce all these rules like crazy but the minute somebody does something racist they're like ooh, like I know we said we were going to like call the game if this happened, but just, you know, just, 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 just let it go. Oh, like, I know we said there's going to be like harsh penalties for these players, but like, what do you guys think? Like what, a year? You want to do a year? Okay. That's fine. Like, I feel like, like they enforce everything, but like, they're like, yo, like we'll put the badge on. They're like, you know, yeah. actually does you, yeah. They, or they just have like the little banner before the game, but like, they don't actually do anything. They're just like, yeah, like, yeah. This doesn't really affect us, yeah. you know, and none of the, like, you know, we can't call it the, you know, the Etihad Stadium, it's Men's City Stadium. We don't want to give them money unless they pay us, but like, you can be racist. It's all right. You know, we'll <laughs> shake it off. We'll shake it off. So that's all. I mean, I, I think, like, I think they should do more. And I just, I mean, I don't, I mean, obviously they don't, I feel like, I don't know why they don't care. Like, I, like, do they not want to alienate? certain parts of the fan bases do they get money are there is there is there like back channels are there lobbies that are saying like yo like let fans express themselves however they want to i don't know i don't know i don't even know what you asked anymore i just know all, all i know is it's a mess and i feel like yeah. the old like i feel like the only way to like actually make change would be like and like i know like what i think people will say is like what i think the change should be is just like if that section right behind the goal was being racist. Like that sucks. But the penalty is like whoever, like if you can find those people, like you got to give, you got to give them, you got to give them a lifetime ban. And then you got to, you got to penalize the club for, you know, not being more forthright and be like, yo, like we don't need racist fans. We don't want racist fans. We don't want you. Like when you come in the stadium, like on the PA system, be like, yo, like do not, be racist like drill it into your people's heads so like this whole section it's empty for the next 10 games that's revenue that you're going to lose 
And that's that's money you're gonna like season mm, tickets. That's a good point. Season t- season ticket holders are in there. You're gonna have to refund them. Like that's like in like that. It sucks because one person can ruin it. But that would also incentivize other people. Like if you see somebody being racist yeah. next to you, you're like, like yo, like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna like shut it down or yeah. I'm gonna get you out of here before exactly. it becomes a problem because I don't want to miss games because you're a bigot. So I think mm-hmm. like the only way like you the, the I feel like the best way to do is like make the player like the fa- other fans feel accountable and make the club accountable to where like it hurts so like no money and no games for everybody in that section like th- I I'm I can promise you if I'm a season ticket holder and the guy next to me starts making monkey noises I'm elbowing yeah. him in the mouth <laughs> yeah. telling him to shut it up cuz I don't want to miss games because of you but so that's what I think. What do you think? And I know what people are going to say. People are going to be like, yo, like if like say I'm I'm a I'm a Milan fan and I want Inter to get penalized, I just go buy me a blue shirt, show up to the next Inter Milan game, make monkey chance and get them in trouble. So I feel like like I feel like you there, there there's an opportunity here for like some sabotage if you want it to, but like also like I also feel like no one would want to like be banned from soccer for a year just yeah. to like just make to, another just to fan take, yeah. base. Yeah. I'm with you on so. that. So I think that I mean, yeah, definitely, you're onto that. I think that first of all, like um, the, the the we've seen refs get fired for far less for having a pretty oh, bad sure. game. So this ref should yeah. be fired. It should be made a uh, made a uh, an example of. But the other thing, I think you're totally right. Like I think that I think that they need to ban these people of course ban them find the find the club don't let them um sell those continue to sell those seats if it's continually coming from the same section which i'm pretty sure it is and you can find that out because you know you have the cameras these days to do that and find out who they are um but also to your point prior like the the reason that you can't take off your shirt to celebrate anymore they say and maybe there's some truth to this is because it's in some countries it's like not polite or something it's like it, um it's offensive which i don't know which countries those are because they've never said that which ones but and when it all comes down to it, what you know is that what happens when you take off the shirt is they don't see fly emirates anymore and they don't see qatar airways anymore and they don't see the nike sign when they're celebrating and going crazy for one of the greatest goals because that shirt is off and these pictures are getting snapped and snapped and snapped. Yes. So I think that it's about the money. I never thought about out. that. Yeah, I get it now. Yeah, you like that. I didn't even get that. That makes sense. So I feel like none of this really going to change until you get people that really care less about the bottom line and more about the human life, the human aspect. Um, yeah. Honestly, like it's things like this that make me it's it's almost becoming too often now, like at least once a month. I'm like. Man, do I really want to be a part of this culture that's that's surfacing from like European football? I, I don't want to be like <laughs> whether it's allegations of sudden thing or or racism or I it's vandalism and I'm just like man, this is just something's got to get yeah, got to got to people, people are crazy. Yeah. Last thing I'll just say about the about the shirts off though. I, I don't know, like you said, I don't know what country it's impolite. Because okay. pretty much any soccer match I've been to across the globe, there are several people in the stands that are blitzed with Not their wearing shirts a off. Shirt. <laughs> just chanting away. Yeah. No shirts. So I'm like, I don't know what country it is, but it's not it's not those countries. Yeah. Because you look at the stands, they aren't wearing shirts. They show up with shirts, they leave them without shirts. 